but nobody demanded China to be responsible. I'm not talking about Chinese people. They're wonderful, loving, kind people. If you visit China, you'll understand hospitable people. But I'm talking about the Politburo and the Chinese president and the dictators. They only think about economy. That is why they are investing. Take India, for example. All India's neighbors have been controlled by China, whether it is Pakistan or Bangladesh, Nepal or Sri Lanka or Burma or Mauritius. Entire neighbors are controlled with their economy. Building roads or bridges or airports. They have become slaves. But this coronavirus is, dest is destroying the entire world's economy. If it is destroying American economy from two years to five, ten years, imagine. I'm not talking about the GDP, the entire U.S. government economy. What government brings in three trillion? Wow. Are you understanding it? So what China should do? I'm demanding three things China should do for moral responsibility. Of course, they are known for not having human rights. There is no freedom of religion. There is no freedom of press. Yes, they respect me, the leadership. But I'm not interested in personal respect. I'm interested to do, call to do, chosen to do what no one else are willing to risk. Like I've been almost all the war zones of the world. Telling the dictators, whether it is Pakistan President Musharraf or Liberian President Charles Taylor or Middle Eastern leaders, including Gaddafi and Assad of Libya and Syria or Sudan President Bashir or Venezuelan President Chavez. Our American presidents, world leaders, NATO Secretary General, he said, I meet, the, I meet these leaders and I confront them and I speak the truth, risking my very life. And this could cost me life. But it's okay because there are 8 billion people at risk. 800 crore people. So China... You have enough money. Your second largest economy. Your economy is more than the entire African economy put together. So this is what you can do first. All these African countries, 54, have been affected. They owe you money. So you can forgive their debt, which you don't need to lose anything. So forgive the debt for all African 54 countries, Asian countries, and America. America owes China more than one trillion dollars. And China can say, America, unintentionally we caused you loss ten times more than what you owe. You owe us one trillion, but you cost ten trillion. We cost ten trillion dollars. So you don't need to pay back the debt. So I hope, I expect, or I request and I demand. China to do the right thing first time in their life, which is to forgive the debt of all the nations. Second thing they can do and commit, the president himself with Purit Bureau need to commit and say, yes, every family that is affected, whoever you lost, at least we will give a small amount, $10,000 per person who have lost their life because of coronavirus. If it is 6,000 people in Italy, 4,000 people in Spain or thousands will lose their life in America. Thousands. As of today, 700. It will exceed a lot more than what Italy lost or Spain lost or Germany lost within the next few weeks. President Trump today said by April 12th Easter, I want to see all churches packed. Right now, half of America is ordered to stay at home. It's like curfew. You can't even go out. The other half, those who are going for limited hours. So next two, three weeks, it's going to be solved? No. It will take minimum two, three months if America stands still. It's spread. The mayor of New York and the governor of New York is saying 40 to 80 percent of the 18 million New Yorkers will be affected with coronavirus. 40 to 80 percent. What are we talking about? 
only one in thousand as president said today have been tested as of March 24th. One in thousand. So 999 people have not even been tested. There is not even 1% testing kits. So China should say, we will pay compensation to every person who loses life $10,000. Third, we demand China should say, we'll find them, we will sponsor and fund the medicine, vaccines, so that in the future, millions, even a billion will not be affected. And we will also provide the equipment because China manufactures things like no other nation. They built the hospital within a week. So China should build hospitals, ship the equipment, testing kits to all the nations. That should be their focus right now instead of trying to cover up, manipulate or twist. If China wants to be a true nation with the power. And I'm asking you, every one of you, for the first time in my life, I'm asking, subscribe, share, ask everyone that you know. If you know thousand people, ask thousand. If your channel has four million subscribers, ask every one of them to join with me, join with you. Let us fight together for the justice of the billions of innocent people who have done nothing wrong, but their lives have been affected. Economy has been destroyed. Foundations have been shaken. Thousands and tens of thousands are dying. And we don't know how many millions died or will die in China because there are no proper reports. Some reports say one million. Some reports say 5 million, some reports even up to 50 million have been affected in China alone, which is 2-3% of their population, which is not a big amazing. Look at Italy, such a small country, already tested positive, almost 70-80,000 people. This is real, this is dangerous, this is deadly. We must turn to God. Scientists and experts and doctors are risking their life. I can go on and on and on. Please share this video with everyone. Let's join hands and hearts together to demand China to do justice once for all so that no other nation can ever send their people to 200 countries. When this happened, they didn't even speak for one month. They were hiding. They should have immediately stopped every flight to every nation in the world. President Trump, a month ago, banned China's flights to the US. And today, a few hours ago, he called China virus. Please don't attack Chinese people. They're wonderful people. Please don't take lie into your hands. But join me if you believe in this cause. Let's fight together. Pray together. Work together. Spread this message like wildfire. And let's save every family, every individual, millions and all 8 billion people. Imagine half of the world sitting at home. They can't go out. So let's turn this deadly China Corona virus into an opportunity where all the world can be united, irrespective of caste, creed, religion, nationality, to demand China to do the right thing. Please, every one of you, from A Argentina to C Zambia, have traveled the world. 155 countries have conducted the peace rallies, advised all these presidents and prime ministers. We must do the right thing. Please, every head of state, every governor, every senator, every president, every prime minister, let's work together. United Nations, World Health Organizations, European Union, NATO nations, African Union, Arab nations, Asian nations. Let's all work together. 
this is war against injustice. To promote peace, sometimes we have to do what is the right thing to do. Let's pray for the families that are mourning. Irreparable, not 10,000. If you give a $10 billion to each family, once you lose, today in California, a teenager is dead. Prime Minister of Canada, wife, Spanish Prime Minister's wife, NBA basketball stars, people like Tom Hanks, Hollywood famous stars, world leaders. German Chancellor isolating herself. Not a small thing. We must fight together, work together. Thank you very much. God bless you. Subscribe right now.